Okay, we are going to continue in chapter 9, and now we are going to be talking about the distance formula. The distance formula is used to find the distance from any two points on a coordinate plane. Therefore, it will tell you how long a certain line segment is from any two points. This formula was discovered by using the Pythagorean theorem with generic points. In other words, what you can do here is you can also use the Pythagorean theorem to do basically the same thing. The formula that we use for the distance is d is equal to the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 quantity squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 quantity squared. In other words, you take your two x values, you subtract them, and then you square it. You take the two y values, subtract them, and then square it. Add those two together, and then take the square root of that, okay? So that is basically it for the distance formula. So what we're going to do today is we're going to find the distance between two points. We're going to write our answers as simplified radical and decimal to the nearest tenth if needed. All right, so we're going to start in here. So here's my x, here's my x, here's my y, here's my y, okay? So I start in and I say, okay, distance is equal to, now I start with one of the x's, it doesn't matter, so I'm going to start with the 6. So I'm going to go 6 minus 3 squared. Now, since I started with the 6 first, I have to start with the 8 first for the y. 8 minus 4 quantity squared. Okay, now we work out a little bit of math. 6 minus 3, that's 3. So 3 squared gives me 9. Plus, over here, I have 8 minus 4 is 4. 4 squared is 16. So then I take those, and I add them together, and that would be the square root of 25. And now this time, the square root of 25 is simply equal to 5. There is not a simplified radical. And there is not a decimal because 25 was a perfect square. So if I plotted these two points, if I came over here and I just drew a simple graph here real quick. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 3, 4, 2, 1, 4, 5, 6, 8. That segment would be 5 units long. Okay, so that's what we're finding here. Okay, so let's try another one. Let's take a look at number two here. So once again, we're going to start off. Here's my x. Here's an x. Here's my y. Here's my y. Okay, so I start in and I say distance is equal to. Now I'm going to go x minus x. It doesn't matter which one we start with. Here, we'll just start with this one. So we'll go negative 2 minus a negative 3 quantity squared, plus, since I started with the 2, I've got to start with the 5, and now we're going to go 5 minus negative 7 squared. So now we start in and we say, okay, what is 2 minus, negative 2 minus a negative 3? Remember that goes to plus a positive, so negative 2 plus 3 gives me 1, 1 squared is 1. Plus, now we do the second one here. We go 5 minus a negative 7 plus a positive. That's 12. 12 squared is 144. Then we take those, add those together. So that would be the square root of 145. And then we think to ourselves, we do a little check, and we say, okay, is the square root of 145... Is there any perfect square factors? And there's not. So this would be my radical. And then I'm going to take my calculator, and I'm simply going to punch in square root of 145, and we're going to round it to the nearest tenth. It comes out to be 12.04. So the 4 makes it stay. So it would be 12.0. So there is the decimal. Okay? All right, what if I gave it to you on a graph, okay? So there is actually two ways you can do this problem, and you can do them pretty easily, and they're very similar. 
the first way we're going to do it is we're going to find the points. So if I count the points here, I would come in and I'd say, okay, this point is at 1, 2, 3, negative 3, up 2. This point is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, down 3. So 6, negative 3. So then what I can do is I could take those and I can simply go distance is equal to the square root x minus x. So I'm going to go 6 minus negative 3 quantity squared plus now I'm going to go the y's. Since I started with the 6 first, I got to do the negative 3. Negative 3 minus 2 squared. Okay. So now we start in and we say, okay, what is... 6 minus a negative 3, that's going to turn to a 9, which is going to give me 81. Plus, now we go negative 3 minus 2, that's going to give me a negative 5. Negative 5 squared, remember that's in groupings, negative 5 is in groupings, so that's going to give me 25. I'm going to add that together and I would get the square root of 106. So now we take and we look at 106. And we see if there's any perfect square factors. And there are not. So we're going to leave it as the square root of 106. Then we take our calculator. We type it in. And that's going to give me 10.29, which causes the 2 to round up to a 3. So that would be my final answer there. Okay? So when you look at it, that is basically all you're going to do. Now, I said there was another way we could do this. And the way that we could also do this is we could take this and we could make this into a right triangle. And what we could do is we can simply count this. So if I want to count over, I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that one is 9 in length. Then I could count up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that one is 5 in length. So we could do, and those are the legs, so we could do c squared is equal to 5 squared plus 9 squared. And then what we have is c squared is equal to 25 plus 81, which is 106. Take the square root of those and notice we're right back to the same step. So on those problems, we can easily do a Pythagorean theorem transformation as well. Because remember, I said the distance formula is derived. It, it was discovered from the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, and that is the distance formula and how to do that.